Welcome to examining the relationship between two quantitative variables. In this video, we're going to talk about is a linear model appropriate? So when asked about, hey, I got this linear model, is it like the right line to use? So it's difference between reliability and appropriateness. Reliability is, hey, I got this line. I know it's the right line to use, but isn't any good. Appropriate is, should I even be using a line in the first place? So let's talk about what you need to analyze to answer the question, is a linear model appropriate? So first, there's two things that got to be mentioned. Really easy too. First, the scatter plot of the explanatory variable versus the response variable should be somewhat linear. If you see a curve in your original scatter plot, please don't try to put a linear model through it. That doesn't make sense. Second, the residual plot of the residuals should show no pattern. A good line goes through the data, creating a nice mix of residuals. So residual plot should be like somebody just took a bunch of points and threw them at a wall. A nice mix of points. Those are the things you want to take a look at. Now, you know, obviously if your scatter plot has a giant curve into it, there's probably no need to even look at a residual plot. You're going to stop right there and say linear model is not appropriate. But sometimes you might look at a scatter plot and say, eh, yeah, that looks somewhat linear. And then when you go look at the residual plot, you see a giant curve in it, which is a signal to you that no, 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 that scatter plot that you thought was somewhat linear actually isn't. So sometimes curves can hide in data. So again, it's nonlinear, right? This would be bad. If you see a clear curve in your scatter plot, that means a linear relationship is not occurring. Don't use a line. Or if you see a clear pattern in the residual plot, that's another sign that there still might be a relationship, just a non-linear relationship. So to make sure we really hammer this point home, let's look at an example. In this example, we um, looked at 16 Ford F-150 trucks, and we looked at the mileage on the truck and the price of the truck. And in this scatter plot, we see a pretty clear negative relationship, somewhat linear. And it shows us that, hey, as the mileage on a truck goes up, the price drops. Makes complete sense. And again, let's just start off by saying, yeah, this does look somewhat linear, which is really, really good, right? And if the line is somewhat linear, it does make perfect sense to put a line through it. So that's the first thing we need to check to make sure appropriate. The second thing we would check is residual plot. So again, if we took all of the residual values, how far every point is from the line, some are, some are kind of negative, all of these on the bottom are negative, and some are positive, all of these up here are positive, some residuals are larger, some residuals are smaller, that's what I mean by the residuals should be random. Residuals should be random. Some positive, some negative, some big, some small. So if we take a look at a residual plot, we see right smack dab in the middle, we see zero. That's actually acting as the line. If you think about that, if you have a residual of zero, that means your prediction is dead on perfect with what actually happens. So that would be a residual of zero. And when we look at this residual plot, we see a bunch of positive residuals in the beginning, in the middle, and towards the end. We see a bunch of negative residuals in the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. And that's great. This residual plot looks beautiful. It literally looks like somebody just threw a bunch of dots at a wall, and there is no pattern, complete randomness. That's a good sign. That means our line went through our data. And if a line goes through your data, it means that a linear model is appropriate. So the two things I'm going to check off here are scatter plot looks somewhat linear, residual plot shows no pattern. Yes, a linear model is appropriate. Now let's just do a candle example real quick here. So this is kind of just a generic example. There's no actual values here. But if we showed you those blue dots, I hope every single one of you would say, oh man, I kind of see a curve being formed. So trying to use a line would be a terrible idea in the first place. But let's just say you looked at those dots and you didn't maybe see a curve right away. You said, oh, I guess that they're kind of, kind of linear. Okay, when we take a look at the residuals, notice what's happening with residuals. Early on, we have some larger, we've got a couple high residuals right here, far from the line, then we've got a small one. So a couple high residuals and a small one, but they're all positive. They're all above the line. Then we have all negative residuals. In the middle, there's no positive residuals. This is completely empty up here, but all negative residuals. And they start off kind of small, medium, medium, and then they get kind of large, and then they go back to being small. So that would be small residuals, get kind of large, back to small residuals. And then we end with all positive residuals. 
Again, starting off pretty small, pretty small, pretty small, medium, medium, and then really big. So in a residual plot, that would look something like that. And what we see here is a pattern. We see this pattern of, hey, the residuals go down into the negatives, come back into the positives, we see that kind of a U shape. That's a sign that our data clearly had a curve in it. So obviously, best case scenario, you're gonna look at the original scatter plot and say, hey, uh, <laughs> kind of looks like a curve. Don't put a line through it. But even if you think, well, maybe it's linear, when you go ahead and look at that residual plot, you're gonna see a clear U-shaped pattern to it. And that's gonna tell you, wait a minute, no, a linear model's not appropriate. My original scatter plot must have been non-linear. In this case, I see a curve. So that's an example where we would definitely say a linear model is not appropriate. So really, really, really simple to do. Hopefully it's, it's simple, but keep in mind there's two big questions. Is a linear model appropriate, which means should I even be using a line, versus is a linear model reliable? And there's, of course, a separate video for reliability. I really encourage you to check that one out as well.